So this is the sea star. Uh, and this is the dovetail mount that feel, fits into the Skywatcher equatorial wedge. The purpose of this video is to correct a couple of issues that we've noticed with it. The first is that when, if you jiggle the C star, then this guy here gets disconnected and then it just rotates freely. So what we're going to do is glue that main 3 8 inch screw onto this dovetail base so that when this rotates, the screw will also rotate and we'll just tighten it and everything will be fine. If it gets loose, we just turn this, and turn the telescope and, and it'll tighten it again. The other thing that we're going to do is to address the issue associated with this set screw, this guy right here. As you can see right there, the tip of that set screw right here, if it's screwed in all the way, is going to score uh, a circle in the base of the C-star, and that's going to interfere with the motion of the C-star because the C-star itself uh, rotates about this, this base. And this is connected to that base, and if this guy makes contact with that, then we're in trouble. So we're just going to use a little bit of uh, thread locker to, to hold this in place. So let me do that first. <clears throat> I'm going to screw this out. And then I'm using a little bit of red thread locker. So what we want to do is get that not that far. Let's see, I just, I'm seeing the thread locker and not the screw. But I want that backed off so it won't interfere with the C-star at all. Just like that. And you can see that that's not going to interfere. So that's step number one. Okay, step number two is we're going to use this JB Weld steel and hardener. This stuff is really, really strong. To permanently glue this uh, 3 8 inch screw to this dovetail base. So I've squirted out equal parts of the steel and the hardener onto here and I'm going to mix this epoxy up. All right, and I'm going to remove this screw. I really don't want to get any epoxy on these threads because these threads are going to screw into here. Where I do want the epoxy is right here where this guy is going to make contact with the dovetail base. And the final I'd like to have the telescope oriented so that when it's equatorially mounted like this these two finder scopes will be on top. So that means I want to put this set screw up rather than on one of the sides or down. So I'm going to screw this in. In such a way That will be up. I'm just going to use a square and then use 
a redneck screwdriver to tighten it down. Okay, so that, once it dries, should make this 3 8 inch screw be permanently attached to this dovetail base, and then when we just, uh, we can just turn it to take it off, turn it back on to, to put it on, and it should be roughly where we want it with these guys on top. One other small uh, change, when we were out in the field at 40,000 below zero, this little set screw right here came loose, the black one. You can see a little bit of red around it too. And so then this altitude adjustment didn't work because this thing was spinning freely and wasn't, wasn't changing the altitude. So we just put a little bit of red thread locker on that set screw as well to prevent that from happening in the future. So now we should be able to adjust the altitude freely.